This is a differential in Roblox playing crazy. You might notice that when a vehicle is turning, it requires both left and right wheel to spin at different speeds. For example, when taking a left turn, the left wheel needs to spin slower than the right wheel in order for the vehicle to be able to change direction smoothly. Without a differential, the wheel will need to slip every time the vehicle takes a turn, breaking not only the tires but even some components of the vehicle and slowing it down by a lot. In this video, I will be showing you how to actually make these differentials step by step, not just by showing a blocks by blocks tutorial but with actual guides. Let's say you already have your spinning rotational output facing to the rear horizontally like this. The spinning object itself is being held using a bearing. This bearing allows power to be transferred from the front to the rear side while having something to hold it in place. Now we will be making the small gear or you may call it pin and gear. This gear will then be attached to another big gear which some may call it crown gear or the ring gear. You could technically attach this rotation to the wheels already but it would be quite problematic when you're steering your vehicle. In order to solve the problem, it will require us at least 3 extra gears. To do this, first we need to make a hole at the center of the crown gear that allows the cylinder to transfer power through the crown gear without attaching it directly to the crown gear itself. This is because the torque or the power of the engine will need to be transferred through the spider gear first, which then the spider gear will separate the rotations into two wheels. After that, we will be putting a rod that separates it from the cylinder that we just put. Now put the spider gear in the middle of that rod. This spider gear itself is attached to the crown gear and it's also spinning freely on its own axis. There are a few ways to connect the spider gear to the crown gear. The easiest way is to use a text which then connects it to the blocks in the middle that connects it to the spider gear. Note that you may need to move the gears away from the pin and gear so that during spinning, the spider gear won't collide with the pin and gear. If your project looks something like this, then it's working normally. But if some of the parts fell off, you might want to save and reload the build as it could be related to a text attachment box. To allow power transfers both left and right wheel output, there are two bearings facing to the left and right which are connected to the same object that holds the spider gear. Then simply place the main differential bearing either at the right or the left shaft to hold the overall mechanisms. If you're able to rotate the crown gear while having both wheel locked like this, then you're doing it correctly. If not, please investigate further or ask away in the comments. Last thing to do to actually make this work is to add two more gears that are connected to the left and the right wheel. This gear also makes contact with the spider gear, but it's not connected to the crown gear. These two gears are being driven by the sideways movement of the spider gear, which could then also make them rotate on different speeds like this. The spider gear itself is forced to rotate by the two forces of the left and the right wheel gear while the car is turning. You don't have to use bevel gear for the crown gear, you could also use linear gear like this or connect it directly using chains like this. And that's how you could make your own differential for your vehicle. Consider subscribing as we keep on providing you with quality and means content on mechanical engineering throughout this channel. Stay safe and have a good day.